There's a difference between history and our use of hand tools today. Working by hand brings a need to be rough in parts, for efficiency and speed, but this should in no way show in the finished piece. This is something which is a little misunderstood today. Hand tools are a far better way for individuals to build furniture. I know this because I do it. But to be properly efficient, we've got to understand the limitations. And I'm not going to make my job harder just for the sake of it. This will be the first video that I show you my one and only machine, the bandsaw. The job itself is a dead common bit of furniture. Just a hall table. I think some would be tempted to call it a shaker table, but it's got no to do with the shakers. So let's just stick to an English hall table. Using design restraints, we're trying to keep things efficient, but also interesting. There's a few slightly unusual details in this piece that mean we can bang it out. Most of them you won't even notice until you come to build it. The first one makes drawer construction a doddle, and that's because it's just a U-shape chopped out the front apron, unlike that conventional sod of a job rectangle. This means that not only is the chop out easy, but we don't need to worry about upper drawer runners either. The second feature is the leg tapers. Normal tapers just stop shy of where the joinery happens, which keeps the joinery simple and square. These tapers go all the way to the top. It gives a usually chunky looking, heavy design, a little bit of elegance. And having it more elegant means that we can beef up the legs a bit, which gives it a stouter feel. You'd think these tapers would make joinery a right sod, but there's a bit of a simpleton's approach that we want to go through. That means there's no scientific maths. We don't want any of that. The rest is fairly conventional. We've got some double mortars and tenons, for which I've got some nifty little tricks to show. This means you can mong out whilst you chop them. There's also some draw building with dovetails. I'll be using pine for the base, but I'm going to use a little bit of cherry for the top. This design would really suit oak with a nice oil and stained finish. Probably some shellac too. We could build it out whatever you like. Anyway, I'm talking too much and it's time to crack on.